Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Kayla, also known as Thrifty Mom of Two here on this YouTube channel. I am a full-time reseller. I sell on Poshmark Macari and on eBay. And today I am making a video sharing with you guys 10 brands slash styles of items that have recently sold for me for $100 plus. Of course, this video is based off of my own personal experience with these brands and or styles, but um, they did perform well for me and I definitely think they are still styles to be on the lookout for. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump right in and get started. Brand number one on my list is a brand that I have been bringing up a lot lately in my haul videos and my what sold videos and it has become one of my favorite brands to sell and that is nike so nike can be hit or miss it's really important to be able to distinguish between a nike item that is worth more money like a higher end item versus something that may not sell for as much or may sit longer there are definitely pieces within the nike brand that can bring in really good profit. So just doing your research, checking comps is really important with this brand. One particular item that I have sold recently, I've actually sold multiple of this same style, is the Nike Air Max 720 sneakers. I absolutely love this style of sneaker. I think they are just a really awesome looking shoe, um, but they do sell pretty well as well. I was able to, I was lucky enough to find five pairs at my Nike outlet, all in different colorways. I've already sold three of those pairs and I have two left. Since then, however, I have not been able to find any at a low enough buy cost. It seems like anytime I run across a pair, they are priced too high for resale. Um, but back then, luckily, I was able to pick up five pairs. Two that have recently sold for me is this pair of Nike Air Max 720s in the Wolf Gray colorway um, with some rainbow stripe pattern on it. These were really awesome. They were size seven and a half women's and they sold for $100 on Poshmark. And then I also recently sold these Nike Air Max 720 sneakers in the University Red color. This one was probably one of my favorite colorways. And these were a size nine and a half women's. They sold for $105 on Poshmark. You guys may recognize some of these sales from some of my past what sold videos. I have brought some of these items up before, but I wanted to put all of them together in one what sold video just to show you guys which items are selling for $100 plus. So brand number two on my list is Marnie. This is a high end designer brand that was on my bucket list of brands to find in the wild while I was outsourcing. And I did find it for the first time in a thrift store and it was this pair of Marnie. They're like a neoprene and mesh um, Velcro strap sneaker in this really cool blue, yellow, and white colorway. These ones are actually still in really good condition. They had a few small scuffs on the bottom of the shoe, which I did note, but other than that, they were very clean. And I was so excited to find these. It's definitely a brand, especially with shoes. Um, possibly even clothing as well that I will be on the lookout for in the future. These were a size 10 in women's and they sold for $150 on Poshmark. Brand number three on this list may actually come as a surprise to some of you guys. I have heard mixed reviews about this brand just watching other uh, reseller videos here on YouTube. Some resellers really like this brand other resellers don't. I personally have always liked this brand since I very first started reselling. It was a brand that I would pick up. However, I am very, very picky with the styles and pieces that I pick up from this brand. And this brand is J. Crew. I recently sold this J. Crew melt in wool. It was a double breasted pea coat in this really cool camel camel color. And this was a size two in women's and it sold on Poshmark for $100 even. I have also sold a J. Crew collection faux fur coat. I think the total sale price was around $225 with what the buyer paid me for shipping on eBay. And then in the past, I have also sold a J. Crew tote bag 
a perforated leather tote bag for $144 on Poshmark. So not every piece by this brand will sell for $100 plus, but pieces that I'm always on the lookout for are definitely their coats, their nicer quality, better material coats, and their bags. So definitely keep an eye out for those. Okay, brand number four on my list here is Doc Martens. Now, I don't find Doc Martens very often, but whenever I have in the past, they've always sold very quickly for me, and I've noticed that the brand also holds a pretty high resale value. So if you do come across them and the price is right, of course, check comps. Definitely pick them up. Um, just in my experience with the brand, it's just a very on trend, good brand to pick up. And the pair I sold recently was this pair of black leather. These were called the Amelita Faux Fur Boots in a women's size eight. And they sold for $100 even on Poshmark. Based off of comps, I probably could have sold these closer to the $125 range, which I kind of regret not hanging on to these for a little bit longer. Um, it was a very quick sell for me. I did get them at a very low buy cost, so I was you know, pretty excited just to accept the $100 offer and move them quickly out of my inventory. But I do think if I would have held out a little bit longer, I could have gotten closer to that $125 price. Brand number five on my list here is Merrill. Merrill is just a really good quality, well-known and trusted outdoor, outdoorsy type brand. There are a lot of outdoorsy type brands that have a pretty high resale value that are definitely worth looking into and picking up. Merrill for me is one of them. I recently sold this pair of Altalite mid waterproof hiking boots in this really cool like purple and teal colorway. These were a size seven in women's and they sold for $103 on Poshmark. I have been mentioning a lot how much I love picking up hiking style like sneakers and boots. I feel like that's just a very common and popular activity that a lot of people participate in and a good quality pair of hiking shoes people are willing to pay up for. So definitely um, not only the brand, but the style is important on this one. Okay, brand number six on my list is definitely another bucket list find. Was This was the first time that I had found this brand. I was so excited. This is another high-end designer, not something that you will typically come across all of the time, but it's definitely good to know this brand in case it ever does happen. Um, but this brand is Alexander McQueen. I found this blue pattern cardigan in a thrift store in my area. And actually the tag, the brand tag and material tag was cut out of this cardigan. But when I was flipping through the racks, the material and quality of the cardigan really intrigued me. So I decided to look deeper at the piece. And I noticed that each of the buttons actually had the brand in really tiny writing in really tiny writing on the little buttons of this cardigan and when i finally figured out what it said i realized it said alexander mcqueen and i was so excited and even with the brand tag cut out this cardigan sold for 120 dollars on poshmark being able to tell good quality fabrics material good well-made pieces is definitely a skill that I think is very important for resellers. It's something that you will develop over time if you're new to reselling. Um, just from flipping through racks of clothing and selling lots of items, you will start to recognize the good quality fabrics, you know, well-made pieces just based off of fill, just by touching them or picking them up and feeling the weight of the item. Um, definitely very, very important for resellers. Okay, brand number seven on my list is Air Jordans. Now, Air Jordans are obviously very popular, but it is important to research the style and colorway um, because certain colorways, certain styles will do better than others. This was the Air Jordan 3 Retro Explorer sneakers in the colorway was Tropical Twist. So it was a really cool gray with like a really pretty teal bottom on at the uh, teal color on the bottom of the sneakers. And these were size six and a half women's. They actually sold to one of my viewers here on YouTube. So if you're watching this video, thank you so much for your purchase. Also, if any of you that watch my videos have ever purchased from me, thank you so much. It really means 
means so much to me that you guys support my business and support my YouTube channel. I really just cannot thank you guys enough. Um, these sold for $112 on Poshmark. Brand number eight on my list is Cole Haan. So Cole Haan is another one of those brands like J. Crew, where, where not every piece is going to sell for $100 plus, but there's definitely certain styles that will. It's important to do your research when picking up this brand. For me personally, some of the newer styles tend to do well. A lot of the older styles don't do so well. So if it's a newer style, I will usually look it up. The pair that sold for me was this pair of Explorer hiking boots in a size six women's. You guys may recognize these. I shared these in my Nordstrom rack haul video. I picked these up when Nordstrom was having their 40% off uh, clearance ticketed shoes. And um, I told you guys in that video that I thought these would sell for at least $100 plus, and they did, and they sold relatively quickly for exactly $100 on Poshmark. Now, I will say there was a little hiccup around this sale. Um, nothing that actually had to do with the boots themselves, but there was a little issue that happened that was resolved, and I did end up getting my earnings released to me, but... That's another story for another time. Um, not gonna go into it in this video, but yeah, nonetheless, definitely um, a brand that's worth looking into. Okay, number nine on my list of brands is Vans. Now I know a lot of shoe resellers kind of, I don't know, put Vans on like the back burner or assume that they just don't have a high resale va value. But for me personally, that has not been the case. I have sold many pairs and I have actually had really good success with Vans on all three platforms, Poshmark, Mercari, and on eBay. However, there are certain styles that, you know, will sell around the $100 price range. Not all of them will, you know, some of them will sell closer to like the $50 to $65 price range. But the style that I have consistently sold around $100 is the Skate High MTE 2.0 DX. Um, I sold this pair here in this Forest Night Green colorway. These were a size 8 women's and they sold for $100 on Poshmark, which was a full price sale. I also recently sold the same shoe in a different colorway. So these are the Skate High MTE 2.0 DX and they were in the colorway Coffee Bean and Lizard, which was just like a green and, it was basically a like green and black colorway. And these were a size nine in women's. They sold for a total sale price on eBay of $102.24. Um, I also sold a similar style. So these ones weren't the 2.0 DX. They were the Skate High 46 MTE high top sneakers, um, but they still were the MTE, which just means they're like the all weather uh, weather resistant leather upper. They have like the ultra cush insole and a lot of them have like the warm insulated lining. Um, and these were in the colorway Obsidian. So very similar style. They were a size eight in women's and they sold for a total sale price of $104.99 on eBay. Okay, so brand number 10 on my list here is actually a repeat brand. So this is Nike. Once again, I wanted to talk about a few more styles that have sold for $100 plus for me. Um, like I've mentioned, Nike has just been a really good selling brand for me lately. Um, another pair of shoes that I have sold is a pair of Air Force Ones, which I think most of us are familiar with Air Force Ones. They're definitely uh, a popular Nike shoe especially like the all white Air Force Ones, the low tops. I feel like those were just really on trend and everybody had a pair of those. Um, I own a pair of all white Air Force Ones that I absolutely love. This pair, however, was a pair of Air Force One slingback sneakers, which I have never seen Air Force Ones in a slingback style. They were in a really cool colorway. They were black with gold accents. I sold them as a size seven and a half women's and they sold for $125 on Mercari. So with the Air Force Ones, just do your research on the colorway and uh, see, because certain colorways do better than others. 
Another style to be on the lookout for within the Nike brand is the Nike Free Run Motion Flyknit sneakers. I recently sold a pair of these in a size seven and a half for $110 on Mercari. However, in my experience, a lot of the Flyknit sneakers, the running Flyknit sneakers by Nike do pretty well. I think Flyknit is a really good keyword to have in your listings. So if you do find a pair, um, the Flyknit is the like stretchy sock-like fabric that you can slip your foot into. Um, if you find any with that upper material, I would definitely look that style up because it seems like any type of Flyknit running sneaker by Nike has been performing well for me. I wouldn't say all, I mean, definitely look up the style, but in general, that seems to be a pretty popular keyword. Okay, so I do have a bonus brand or one other brand that I've added into this video. Um, this brand I wanted to mention because I did recently sell this brand for $99, so not quite 100, but I feel like 99 is close enough to go ahead and give this brand an honorable mention. And this brand is Converse. So I feel like this is another brand that a lot of shoe or sneaker resellers kind of write off and don't really look much into. Again, not every style within Converse is going to bring you that $100 price point, but there are certain styles that you want to be on the lookout for. Um, one in particular is the Star Hike sneakers. They are the Converse sneakers that have that like really chunky sole to them with, with the really awesome tread, kind of like a heavier shoe. I'll put a picture up on the screen, but these, this particular style has been consistently selling for over $100. Um, a lot of them are actually selling for closer to that $150 price range. Another style within Converse to be on the lookout for is the Converse is the, I'm not exactly sure what they're called, but they look like the regular typical high top Converse sneaker, only they do have a built in hidden wedge inside the sneaker. And it looks like that style of shoe is also consistently selling for over $100. I'll pop a picture up on the screen of some recent solds on Poshmark. The style that I sold, they were called the ERX 260 Mid Sneakers. They were in this really cool black, teal, and leopard print colorway. Obviously, leopard print is very on trend. Um, it's just a very good keyword to have in your title. Because these shoes did have leopard print on them, I did go ahead and run comps when I found these. I picked these up from a Ross store and I was pleasantly surprised. So these were a size six in women's and they did not take very long to sell. They sold for $99 on Mercari. Okay guys, so that is it for my brands that have recently sold for $100 plus video. If you guys did enjoy this type of video and found this information useful, please give this video a thumbs up on your way out. Also, um, drop a comment down below and let me know any brands that you've recently sold for $100, $100 plus. I'm curious to hear you know, what brands are selling well for you guys as well. Um, make sure you're subscribed to this channel. If you do enjoy reseller related content, hit that little bell notification down below so that you get do get notified when I post new videos. And yeah, guys, I hope you're having a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.